up Johnson family, my name is Cedric and today we are going to be reacting to the new queens on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm so juiced you guys, like the best part about All Stars is that like the, the stars that you've seen on the show already that you stand for, they get to come back and show you what they've given, like what they're giving like years later, like how they've grown and everything. This, we're getting a whole new set of girls. I always, I love All Stars, but I love starting fresh on a whole new season of Drag Race and just seeing what like these new queens are gonna be giving. I don't know if they're gonna like walk down the runway and show their names or like how Rue's gonna introduce them, but first we're gonna watch like the, the trailer for the new season. And then if they don't show the names there, I'm gonna go through and like try to pick out who I can see, even though I don't know anybody. So I, I might just Google them. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Alrighty, well I'm ready. And if you're ready, let's get into it. Yes, shoulders. Yes, that X. Oh, those lights at the end of the train. Yes. Okay, it's giving me very neon. Work it, girl. Yes, mama. <laughs> it's giving me very like neon. Oh yes, vacuum, Miss Eureka. A lot of diversity on this season. Tens across the board. I never seen it on Instagram. My girls are all tens, but who will be number one? Yes, March 22nd. I'm so freaking excited. I cannot wait. So since the trailer didn't give their actual names, I want to go through and see if I can find their Instagram so like to see what they're giving. First up is Asia O'Hara. So Miss Asia, um, <laughs> you know how um, Alaska has like the two different like hairstyles? I just don't, I just don't, I'm getting neon. Um, I just, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for the vines, the colors. I just, the eyeliner's a lot. Like, I don't, I'm just, I'm sorry, Miss O'Hara, I'm not here for it. <laughs> Next up is Aquaria. Now I've heard the name Aquaria like in the drag community or whatever online for the past like year or so. I just never actually went out of my way to see who they were talking about. So I'm excited that she gets to show her face on this season, but I'm here for Aquaria. I'm so here for this. Like she's giving me skinny Mariah Carey body. She's like, wait, hold on. Uh, well, it's cute. I like how she has the, her jacket is pink and the shoes match the jacket. And then she has her name, you know, on the crotch area. I just love the, I love the bright colors this season. I'm, I'm really obsessed with this neon look. And of course her mug and her hair, like, but I feel like your name here and your name here is a little overkill, but that's just my personal taste. I don't feel like you needed it both. Maybe just the neck, or maybe just the bottom. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Something, something's weird about that, but it's still cute though. It's still cute. Next up is Blair Sinclair. Blair Sinclair. Uh, uh. It's, I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at it. Like, I'm, I'm not good with like, like pinpointing like what eras things are from, but this is just, I feel like it's, it's supposed to be given like a 70s type of vibe. Um, I love the belt. I love how the belt, the bracelet and the necklace and the earrings, they all are the same color. I'm obsessed with that. I love the lace. It's like lace neon. I'm obsessed. And her makeup is on point. I love the like one, thing down with the eyeliner or like just a lash that's hanging, but it's not on both. I see you girl, attention to detail. Next up is Dusty Ray Bottoms. Um, very acid Betty. Um, I could, very detox. I'm getting acid Betty detox vibes. I don't like this. And the reason that I don't like it is because it seems very like, how do I explain it? In my opinion, it seems like the head up the shoulders and like the torso out and then the torso itself are three different sections. Like I'm from the the head up, I'm just getting really like sherberty colors and the makeup is just like, it's good. You can tell like there's attention to detail there, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. I feel like it's just like, I don't know, like there's something about it to me that's off and I feel bad because I don't want to just like talk, I don't want to just say that and then not be able to pinpoint what I'm talking about, but it just doesn't, like it just seems very like, I don't know, just, it doesn't seem like that's as put together. Um, and then the, 
the jacket is like really rich neon type of colors, like really highlightery um, type of colors. Then you have a black corset or waist trainer or whatever that's called. I just don't feel like it works. Like, I just don't like all this together. Sorry about it. Now we have Miss Eureka O'Hara. Okay, so. Oh, first of all, I'm obsessed. Wouldn't it have been funny if she was just like, if RuPaul was like, you can come back this season, and she was like, eh. <laughs> I'm good, I don't think I wanna come back. But she's giving me the same hair that she had in her first promo. The makeup is obviously better, the body is better. I like this better than I liked for the promo for season nine. I just, I don't know how I feel about the up hair with like, it, it's like spray paint. It reminds me of like um, Ginger Minj when she used to spray paint black there. I don't know, it's cute though. It is a very cute look. I like how the colors go together. The only neon that I'm seeing though is the, the bottom half of the, um, the skirt, or bottom half of the dress, whatever. It's cute, I like it, it's cute. <laughs> Alrighty, next up we have Calorie Kardashian Williams. Boo. <laughs> I'm not a fan, I don't. Is she a bigger queen? Is that what's happening? I just don't feel like the dress is that flattering. Like maybe it's because I'm not seeing it in the way it's supposed to be seen. From the neck up, her face, her face. Mama's, mama's gorgeous, she's so pretty. Like honestly, her face is giving me everything I need right now. It's just like the earrings, everything. I just don't like the dress and the shoes don't match the dress to me. And I don't, just because it's neon doesn't mean that it's, Maybe I'm just like a not a fan of color. Well, no, like I like color, I like bright things. It's just, I just don't feel like it works. But I love her hair, I love her makeup. I think all that is very, very cute. I love her stance. I just don't love the actual outfit on her body. <laughs> all right, next up we have Cameron Michaels. Her face is giving me like snake. Not like ugly or anything, like it's just like very snatched. It's very like, very like, you know, like reptilian, like uh, Like, you know, it's just, it's very like fierce. I love her face makeup and just how like narrow her face looks. Um, let me see, lace front on point. It's, it's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite outfit, but it is cute. I'm not gonna, I don't think it's like a boot or anything. Um, I just love this whole neon theme. Ugh, I'm obsessed. But it, it is cute. I just, it's just not my favorite. But I am excited to see what she's gonna be giving because that face is everything. Alrighty, next up we have Mayhem Miller. Ooh. This. This? A hundred. A hundred percent. I'm so here for this. I love how big her eyes look. Not like literally her eyes, but like just this whole eye area with the eyebrows included. I just love how large, like it's like large font. Like I love how large it is. I love the colors all go together to me. I just don't like the actual outfit. I love the earrings, love the hair, love the makeup, love the melanin, love just all that is cute, love the nails. I just don't, what is this hanging off the side? And why are these like, are they supposed to go? It just doesn't, I just don't, I just don't like it. She looks fierce, so I'm excited to see what she's gonna give. I just, I'm not a fan of the outfit. All right, next up we have Ms. Cracker. Ooh. She's giving me like a skinnier version of James Mansfield. <laughs> um, it's just, it's very bubblegum, very Barbie, very blonde. Um, nothing crazy exciting as of yet. I haven't seen what she's gonna give on the actual season, but Ms. Cracker's a cute name. <sighs> Well, that nose is snatched. I love her makeup. I th she's, it's cute. I'm not, I can't boot it, it's cute. I like it a lot. All right, next up we have Monet Exchange. I feel like it's supposed to all go together, Monet Exchange. Yeah, 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 that sounds better. Okay, okay, all right. Girl, I love this blue on her. I'm obsessed. Is that a ponytail or like an afro? I don't. I don't know what the hair or what's happening with the hair. I don't know if it's pulled back or if it's like a little short afro. Either way, I think it'll be cute. Um, but if it's a ponytail pulled back, I would wonder why it's so like, you know? I don't know, I don't know fashion like that. But I love it. I'm upset, this blue on her skin just looks so pretty and the blue, pink, brown combo, I'm just, it's everything, I'm so here for that. Right, so now we have Monique Hart. Monique Hart, okay. For my unfashionable opinion, I feel like the coat doesn't have to be there. I would have really liked the silhouette if it was just the blue um, skirt. And I think it would have really given it a pop because the hair is yellow, the shirt is yellow, the shoes are yellow. 
I, I think it would have given it the pop that it needed or the focus that it needed. Um, it is a cute outfit. I think it is a very cute outfit. I just wish that she didn't have the actual coat there. I feel like it may have looked a little better without the coat, but that's just my opinion. All right, next up is the Vixen. Ooh. Do I like this? Hmm. It's different, it's neon, it's bright. It's just something about it. Maybe it's it's the outfit on the background that's bothering me. I don't know, something about it I'm just not. It's out of the box though. It's really like I have to keep looking at it to like really like get my whole entire life. It's, I don't know, like this is one of the ones that I, I'm not sure about. If I'm not sure then I may not, it does not sure mean you don't like it. Cause it's not that I don't like it, it's just not typical. Like I have to really dissect this and look into it. Like I'm gonna say that it's 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 cool for right now. I wanna see what she's gonna give in the season though. All right, so we have two more. So this is Vanessa Mateo. <sighs> Alexis Mateo, she was my queen. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Bam! Bam! <laughs> I literally, I love Alexis Mateo so much. And literally she gives like pageant realness. I just, ugh. And I believe this is her daughter. I don't like the outfit. It doesn't, it's a little underwhelming for me. I don't feel like it's anything special. Like I also feel like her makeup is really, really bright. Like it's, I, her face is really white to me or from, at least from what I see here, it's not one of my favorite outfits. I'm still excited to see what she's gonna give because of her, her mother's like this Mateo. So like, she's gonna be serving obviously, but I just, I need a little more from you Miss Mateo. And just a little more, just a little more. You're still cute, but just, I don't, not the biggest fan of the outfit today. All right, and then last but not least, we have Yahua Hamasaki. Yahua Hamasaki. Yahua Hamasaki. What race? I'm guessing Asian of some kind. This is different too. It's giving me a little bit of like, I was gonna say Thorgy, but no. This is unique. This is, I love the little like, the little small part in between like the hair. I don't know if that's an afro. I can't really tell with this like lighting or whatever, but I like this. I love the shoulders. I love the silhouette, how it's like snatched on the body. I love the little train. I love this. This is cute. This is a cute little put together outfit. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it, Miss Hamastaki. So that was all the queens on this new season. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm juiced. And for them to have this season come out literally a week after All Stars, like, I need to, you guys, you can't do this to my heart. Like, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Like, it's just so, so much going on. But you, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I cannot wait. And you know that, honestly, after my reaction yesterday, I had so much fun doing that. And so what I think I'm gonna do is react to every episode for All Stars and every episode on the new season, as long as you guys wanna see it. If you don't wanna see it, please let me know. It won't hurt my feelings. But if you do wanna see that, please let me know. I'll make sure to get those out for you. And besides that, thank you so much for watching. It really, really does mean a lot. If you wanna see more of me, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Please like if you liked it, or please comment. Let me know what you thought. And yes, I will see you in the next one.